I want to show a little little video clip here in a second. And uh, uh, today is my uh, granddaughter uh, Madeline's fourth birthday, and and I promise I won't do this every year or anything like that. But yesterday, yesterday we had a chance to uh, just go out and and uh, celebrate uh, her birthday, and uh, it's really really pretty cool. And uh, and my daughter. Uh, Christine took a quick little video um, to give you proof that um, athletic ability does skip a generation, but it can show up if you just wait long enough. So go ahead and show that little clip, would you guys? And, uh, and uh, you Put your hand, no, no. Put the ball in the air. I didn't put it up, no. It's okay, it's okay. Put the ball in the other hand. Grab the ball. Good girl. Go like that. Whoa. Excellent. Way to go. <laughs> oh, catch it with you the catch hands. it with the very ball. soft ball, ball, I don't, promise. Don't worry, hit my glove. Because I'm not very accurate, so. Way to go, Manny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my it was hit. Way to go. Of course, the dog. Oh, oh, grab it. See the last one I missed. Grab it. That's great. It's the best. It's the best. Way to go, good girl. Sit. Go back to your spot. Go back over there. Go back, Sit. go back, go back. Go back. Okay, get my glove. Way to go, Maddie. Good girl, Maddie. Oh, almost. She has an arm like her grandma. Look at what color. My, my glove's black just like yours. Here you go. Hit it. Oh, why did I throw it? <laughs> Wait it. Oh, you had it. Almost you had, had it. it. Take Take three steps back. One, two, three. She can't catch. Go ahead. Just like Take three steps back. One, two, three. There you go. Throw. Stay right there and throw. Where'd they go, Good babe? Good job, big girl. Oh, almost. Grandpa, you got to throw better. Nah. Bad throw, Grandpa. Where'd they go, Maddie? Yay! Yay! <laughs> Where'd they go? Now put it in your glove, in your hand. He's like, oh, the game's over, you know. Very good. You throw better than your mommy already. <laughs> <laughs> mommy throws really good when she doesn't do a double arm. Here you go. You go find catching your mommy and your daddy. Oh, Grandma. Thank you, guys. Here you go. So, happy birthday, Madeline. I shared a little bit. I just... Uh, um, it's not... Uh, at different times uh, over the course of the last few years, I've shared a little bit here and there, and uh, uh, just want to just tell you how how much um, four years ago meant to uh, Cheryl and Mark Brown as parents, and of course now grandparents. But uh, you know, we we lost our daughter, our oldest daughter. Uh, as most all of you know, and um, we lost our daughter in a way that's very difficult uh, because uh, all of you have suffered tragedies and, and hardships. You've lost loved ones to sicknesses and ailments and, and just maybe just age. And during this last year, different people have suffered the loss of loved ones in different ways. But one of the areas that's so very difficult, and I don't know if it's the worst thing, but uh, as a dad, to lose uh, a daughter the way, I mean, the thing is, our daughter was taken. Someone took her life. She didn't have a car accident or die of cancer or some awful disease or someone murdered her. Someone decided one day, I'm going to take your life, and they took it. And that's the hard part. That may be why I shed a lot of tears beyond just the loss is that someone took life. But on March 7th, 2017, less than two months after someone took life, my daughter Kathleen gave life. She gave birth to a beautiful daughter. And I know that she didn't I would never put that on her, but I just say if Madeline ever hears this, oh Maddie, you are extra special in a lot of ways because God ordained to bring you 
and bring life after someone took life to our family. And when you see God, of course, orchestrate all of that, Kathleen, how God orchestrated everything so that you would be pregnant. And that tragic day that we had to tell you, I, I thought she would, I thank God she went to term to be able to give birth because, uh, anyway, I wanted to share that a little bit to let you know that uh, this is just an, you know, your grandchildren are beautiful and all of you that have them and, and, and your children, all of you, of course, children, but for us, uh, March 7th, 2017, for us is God gave life and uh, because it means so much that someone took a life from us. And we know that God orchestrated all that. But we're very, very thankful. So uh, there'll prob there'll probably never time I'll mention something like that. But just God compelled me to share that. Plus, again, as I mentioned earlier, it's good to see that genetics haven't disappeared. And I have a granddaughter that can throw a ball better than her two aunts and her mother already. <laughs> But they're great coaches in T-ball, so I shouldn't say a word. They, all three of them, I shared that a few weeks ago in our breakfast that the year that my three daughters had a chance all to coach T-ball was an absolutely incredible year. We had 12 or 14 teams that year, and each one of them coached a team of 10 kids and did all so incredibly well. And, of course, then they came to help me in coach pitch and uh, let me know how bad of a coach I was and asked me why I was doing half the things that I was doing. Dad, don't do that. Dad, don't do that. Dad, you're nuts. Dad, you're getting the kids upset. So I stepped back and let my three daughters coach the coach pitch team, and they let me pitch to the kids, and that was it. Because as a pitcher, I'm very talented in letting other people hit the ball, and it, <laughs> it, wasn't, that I, it wasn't that I wanted to let them. It just happened that way. And that's why I'm standing here preaching. So praise the Lord. 